Manitoba. The seven provinces we're visiting during our 150-day road trip across Canada. Right at the center of Canada, Manitoba is home to a variety of unique attractions, wilderness, and beautiful landscapes. Winnipeg, Manitoba's capital, but also home of more than half of the province's population. It's also home to one of the best museums in the country, the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, which is the only museum in the world devoted to human rights awareness and education, but it's also an absolute work of art, not only because of its architecture, but also with its interactive exhibitions and use of modern technology. We also visited the nearby Lower Fort Garry historical site, a former Hudson Bay Company trading post, which is now a living museum where costumed interpreters recreate life at the fort back in the 1800s. We got to play traditional games, eat some home-cooked food, and even make our own candles. It was a really fun and interactive way to learn about some of Canada's history. Next, we had a day of relaxation at Thermia, a Nordic spa in the heart of Winnipeg. This thermal spa is the perfect place to rejuvenate, with various steam rooms, hot pools, body treatments, hammocks, saunas, and so much more. After 65 days on the road, we couldn't have picked a better place to spend a day. While we were in Winnipeg, we heard about this new trend, goat yoga. We knew right away that we needed to try it. Not only because we need some stretching in this road trip, but also because we love interacting with animals. And this is the perfect place to do it. Lastly, we couldn't leave Winnipeg without spending some time at Grand Beach, one of the best beaches in all of Canada. Nestled on the shores of Lake Winnipeg, this is a very popular spot in the summer and we loved getting into the water, having fun in the waves and lying under the sun. You'd never know you were at a freshwater lake. After a few days in the city, we took a flight to Churchill, a place that I've been looking forward to visiting for a long time. It was also a great experience to explore a small northern Canadian town, learn about its ecology and its people, and also its ancient history with the Hudson Bay Company and the fur trade. This is one of those places that remains so wild and secluded. We spent our days with wildlife, watched incredible sunsets over Hudson Bay, sat around the fire at night roasting marshmallows and mingling with people from around the world, and went to sleep under the northern lights. This is one of those Canadian experiences people dream about. During our peak season in midsummer, we can see upwards of 59 to 60,000 whales on the western shore of Hudson Bay. That makes this population the largest concentration of whales in the whole world. for having the opportunity to be so close to these beautiful creatures and live such a magical moment. It seems like a dream when I remember looking down and seeing a bunch of beluga whales swimming underneath us. We saw hundreds breaching the water during our various boat trips, but nothing can compare to the experience of getting into the water and snorkeling with them. They look right into our eyes, rolling on their back trying to have a better look at us. It was a beautiful connection. There's something so magical and so humbling about having these fascinating mammals so close and having them interact with us. Just as I observe them, they observe me. And to be able to share that moment with another intelligent being is a really unforgettable experience. Manitoba is such an incredible province. From the diverse city of Winnipeg to the vast wilderness of Churchill, Manitoba is a place we'll never forget and one we all hope to return. Thank you for watching our Manitoba episodes. We had a wonderful time. To learn more about what we did in Manitoba, as well as other provinces during our 150-day road trip, visit mustdocanada.com.